Hello, and welcome to episode 90 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. <coughs> oh, I'm down here in alt, uh, ruins of Unti. Unti, not Ulti. Unti. <laughs> Ulti is the, uh... <laughs> I think, uh, oh, Realm from Final Fantasy, Revered Spirit Ash, from Final Fantasy VI is, uh, like, cute name for the, uh, what do they call that, like a repeating boss, uh, Ultros. Recurring is the word I was looking for. Thank you, Brain, for providing that to me. Alright, I'm almost ready to go explore the main inside part of this motherfucking place. Oh, we got some more furnace visages, vi vi visages here. Abadi, 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 abadi. Oh, that's all, folks. Come on now. Holy fucking crap. Okay, it's inside. Thank you. All right, let's check around here. I hit the wall with a whack. A big whack. And then I hit the wall and it go whack. God, this fucking area is dark. Come on now, why you gotta treat old Eric like that with the darkness? Help out an old man using his old eyeballs up in here, man. Come on, man. Ember of Mesna. So this was a little village right beside the fucking Shadow Keep. And obviously it was a place that got fucking drowned. Whenever that happened, for whatever reason, the water fucking filled up everything. I mean, I, I can't say that for sure. Maybe this place wasn't drowned. Then again, maybe it was. Maybe that's why I never found that ladder that led here the first time. Because it wasn't uh, usable until... Oh, shit. Oh, you can't really stand on it. Oh, good. Uh, maybe the ladder wasn't usable until you drained the water. It's possible, it's possible. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a fairly complex little village setup. You know, yeah, it's very good, yes, of course. It's my little tunnel around the corner here. Ooh, tunnel. Yes, precious tunnel. Yep, sure enough, right there. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. There's a tunnel. That's for sure. Alright, well. Let us check this out. Okay, we got some stairs. Yes, ma'am, we got some stairs up in this bitch. <laughs> uh, does this go anywhere else? No. All right. Um, I will check the bottom middle part, but that won't be too hard to get to from uh, just about anywhere here, I imagine. Let's continue up here before I forget to check it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of places I'm going to need to check by horse. Last Ashes of War, alright. Maybe I get a cool Ash of War here. That I could potentially duplicate if I wished. Uh, oh, man. There's a fucking large place up in here, man. Hey, I'm Bill Clinton. I come from the Shadow Realm. I did not have sexual relations with that furnace golem. <laughs> oh man, nothing wrong with being able to make yourself laugh. It sure fucking keeps you entertained when you spend a lot of time by yourself. 
Oh. Hidden ledge. Crouching tiger. Hidden ledge. Oh. I was already on that ledge. And yeah, you definitely can't stand on that shit. There's probably nothing too much here, but you never really know. Like, I definitely don't want to fucking leave any stone unturned if I can help it. Honestly, the next game I might let's play, like, just for simple fun and something a lot less stressful might just be fucking... Oops. Oh, I thought I saw a guy, but it was just the cool water texture. It might be fucking Immortals Phoenix Rising. That game is just so fucking good. God, I can't wait till they release the second one. It's supposed to take place uh, in Hawaii and be centered around Hawaiian mythology. Should be fucking awesome. The first game was just so fucking fun. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm getting, uh... Oops. Come on, now. No, no, no. Yeah, I want that on. And I want this. There we go. I'm getting a decent handle on the layout of this place. Let's... 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 Go up here. Let's check up on these roofs. whole lot of fuck all up here. Okay. Super monkey ball. Fucking shout out to anybody who's played the legendary GameCube game. GameCube release game, mind you. Super Monkey Ball. I mean, if you want to know games that uh, were starting to revive NES difficulty and old school gaming difficulty before Demon Souls and even before the 3D Ninja Gaiden games, look no further than Super Monkey Ball for the GameCube. Fucking amazing game. All right, I'm gonna uh, take a leap of faith and say perhaps I am meant to jump into that fucking hole there. I missed the hole, man. Come on now, man. If I get off the horse and get back on it, does that restore its health? There's a great question that I probably should have asked about 500 hours ago. <laughs> like, that might be a strategy for... I mean, it would be kind of complicated getting on and off of your horse in a boss battle when it's low on health. But yeah, in like a horse boss battle, like instead of getting knocked off and then getting fucking comboed to death. Oh, dude. Fuck all. Okay. Uh, there's obviously a way up there. Like maybe I just have to make a different jump from where I was at or maybe it's somewhere else over here. Come on now, turn your ass around there, horsey. Don't be a pain in my ass or I'll remove your name and you'll no longer be called Horsicus because I will no longer have trust or faith in your horse-like nature. Okay, okay. That wall crumbled there is looking promising. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy cat. Love you, friend. Meow. Hey, buddy. Love you, friend. You gonna come up and let me pet you for a minute? Hey, friend. Love you. If you're still bullying your sister Hazel. That's, um, not my favorite, but I love you very much. Doesn't take away my love for you, friend. Hopefully you see that at some point and, um, realize that it's okay to be nice to Hazel. That You're not gonna lose out on anything by being nice to her. You're actually gonna gain. I know it goes against your territorial cat-like instincts. 
I know you feel insecure for some reason, and I don't blame you for that or judge you for that. I just want to love you while also loving and protecting Hazel. You know, my little orange tabby cat friend? You're cute. You're a very cute boy. Yes, you are. You're a very nice friend. Love the animal friends. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give you lots of head pats and lots of chin scratches. Just like you like. Just like you like, friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aww. Aww. Yep, come on up. You can even sit on my phone if you want to. I afford you that privilege because you're such a nice friend. Yes, 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 yes. Rub your face on my water bottle, leave your scent, absolutely. No, no complaints. Yeah. Up on the couch, I'll make room for you to walk around. I know you don't like walking over me. Maybe somebody got mad at you once for walking on them or standing on them. Hey friend, that could be scary. That's okay though. Oh yes, gotta scratch that kitty face. He really likes it when you scratch his little kitty face. We want to make our kitty happy, that's for sure. Yeah, yes, yes. You want to talk for the microphone, buddy? Meow. <laughs> that was me, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Love you, buddy cat. Aww, he put his paw on me. He's very reticent to do that usually. Oh, yeah, stand on my foot and rub your tail on my foot. That's very cute. That's very cute. Yeah, oh, what a nice friend. What a very nice kitty cat friend. Give you little bum scratches. I know those get overwhelming sensory overload for a cat to get its the bottom of its spine scratched, but I think you like it a little bit, right? 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 Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh! I made that noise, and every time he goes to like sit down beside me and cuddle against me. He, um, he stops. Whether I make a noise or not, whether I move or not, whether I look at him or not, he just, like, gets up again right away. It's like he's got some really negative association with that. But, like, he wants it, but he doesn't let himself because he's scared. Poor guy. Well, I'll be here with you for another month, and we can keep working on it, friend. I don't like cuddling with cats for too, too long. I tend to get kind of... A little bit of restless leg syndrome after a while. I get kind of jittery, but for a bit, I mean, it's very wholesome and loving. You gonna go up in the windowsill with the flowers and look outside, friend? Is that where you're gonna go? He's watching something outside. What a cutie pie. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I'm sure this isn't the greatest entertainment for everybody potentially watching this for me to just have hands off the controller and just listen to me talk to my cat but you know he's a living being and he's in the moment here and uh you know his family's not even here right now and obviously he doesn't get along the greatest with the other cat hazel so like my attention is uh really kind of the only positive interaction that he's getting so I think it would be really fucking cruel of me not to, you know, give him a good solid bit of that every single day. You know, I don't have to take my whole day and spend it on him, but he definitely deserves... He definitely deserves a solid amount of attention and time and interaction. But, uh... And if I do it kind of half-heartedly while I'm watching the game and playing the game, then he just... He goes away. He knows that I'm not that really that focused on him. And, uh... You know, he deserves more than that, so... So there you have it. Okay, uh... Let me go up here again, and if... I don't... Find anywhere to jump... From up here, then I will go back to that... Uh, wall. And try and find something to jump off of to get over that broken wall. 
Like, you would really think that it would be up here. I mean, I could get on top of this wall. Okay, try again. Yes, 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 of course. Oh, rather. Okay, fucked it up. But I, I don't know what I really could have done from up there. I can't believe the solution isn't jumping into that fucking thing. And where are those moans coming from? And why can I not see sweet fuck all? I mean, I really don't think this place is the solution. So, oh, hello. Hello. Let's go around. I mean, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there a ledge here that I can get on? Come on, turn around. Okay. Oh, that thing is just pure slipperiness. Is there anything over here that that would lead to? Looks like no. What is that red over there? Oh, it's just part of one of these broken furnaces. All right, uh, that I'm quite certain is not walkable. I can hear some kind of frogs or something in game. Okay, so. Like, <laughs> I get on this fucking tiny little tree stump with my fucking Mario 64 Super Monkey Ball skills. Oh, oh wait, you can walk up it. Hold on. Is this truly the solution? Hold on. Gotta be at a certain angle to walk up it. This is like being on top of the fucking castle in Super Mario 64. Trying to get up to the very tip using the, the weird fucking, like, walking terrain on certain angles of the fucking roof. Okay, that's not the solution. Well, what the heck, man? I mean, if I gotta fucking check every fucking wall in this place, I suppose I will, but... I'll do it on the horse if I'm gonna do that. If it comes to that. Is there anywhere to jump to from on top of here? I mean, this does not feel like a fucking proper solution. <laughs> Okay, here's Buddy that's moaning. Quit your moaning! Dude, what the fucking heck? Whoops. I can't believe there's no walking on that thing. Oh! Hold on now, hold on now. Come on now, come on now. Don't fucking tease me like that. Dude, seriously? Oh my god. Can I thread the needle from up on top of the roof and make it through that fucking hole? I doubt it. Huh. Let's just stay calm and try to rationally come up with a solution. Even this here is like kind of a tricky little run. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean, there's a fucking entryway up there. Well, no, there's just a little path. Like, the chest is somewhere up in here. How do I get to it, though, and why can't I just fucking land on that guy? Do I have to get past him? He's kind of blocking the fucking hole. I mean, give me a damn break, man. I was mashing cross, too, to fucking try and jump again. Let me try that again. This is quite the little mystery. Wish there was an easier way up there rather than having to fucking parkour. Why can't I fucking jump right? Thank you. Okay. I guess this is a decent way to get up there. And up here. Over here. What the heckin' heck? Nope. Okay, I'll try aiming a little more to the left. See if there's a ledge there I can land upon. This is crazy. None of the other ruins were anywhere near this difficult to get to the top of. This must be the final ultimate one. Okay, uh, let me scratch my leg. Let's get on here. I uh, don't really see a ledge. I mean, maybe there's a ledge there to land on. Let's try. Horsicus, bring me to the land of, oh, come on. Did it have to be slippery like that? Okay, I'll land on this corner of it. Let's try again. Can I just... Yeah. Barely, but yes. Oh, I had to move more to the left. I mean, it seems like they don't even want me doing that. That's why they put that little curtain there. Son of a fucking gun. Wish there was an item I could drop up here to fucking teleport me back up here at will. Dude, I tried to go more to the left, but it's fucking chintzy. Like, it would be really easy to overshoot. Can't see fucking anything very well. Okay, in order to land up there, you gotta not aim for the peak of that roof. It's a sloped roof, so we can't put any Secret Service agents up there either. That's too much of a security risk. Somebody could roll their ankle, and quite frankly, we can afford a dead president, but we can't afford a rolled ankle, am I right? Okay. Okay. Let's check around here. Fuck all. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Damn it. Oh, I just want up on that little fucking corner. What the hell? Dude, this looks so obvious. It looks so much like you're just supposed to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brainwave. Brainwave. Oh, wow. Lots of them now. 
maybe I throw a mesmer fire pot into the top of that guy. Hold on, I feel like a, a fucking gamer. Hold on, gamer moment. Oh, my gamer skills failed me. This this could be a fucking legit little puzzle. Oh, son of a fucking gamer. God damn gamer skills. Yes. Uh, upon reflection, this probably is the solution. I was just talking, you know, all about the fucking furnace guys that you need to throw the stuff into the top of. In all likelihood, this guy is one of them. And I need to fucking throw in a thing to wake him up. And then after he's gone, he's blocking the entryway. I'll be able to get through. Let's try. Show enough. Oh, this is not a great place to fight him in, though. How do I get it up in there? Do I have to actually get up on that fucking roof? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 not good, not good, not good. Dude, how do I get up here on foot? Please. Dude, this is some crap. This is some fucking crap. Dude, I'm wasting them. That's not really cool. Dude, and I wasted so fucking many of those. <gasps> I got him! Oh, thank fucking God. Thank fucking God. Oh my God. Oh, dude, that lag was fucking legendary. Skills to the rescue. Fucking gamer skills to the damn rescue. Oh, okay. Oh, God, that was satisfying. <laughs> that was fucking hard, man. And I mean, would I have had to just go and grind a bunch of those things? Like, these ones don't reappear. I would have just had to have gone and fucking ground out a fucking whole shitload of those. In order to re, uh, re-attempt that guy. I, I don't think I could fucking get them inside of him without being up on that little edge there. That was fucking nuts, dude. I should have put on the fire resistance talisman, that's for sure. But okay, let's check that blood something or other cracked tier. Blood sucking cracked tier. Enhance attacks at the cost of HP and mixed physic. Oh. Temporarily increases attack power but drains HP over time. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I mean, that's kind of kind of cool. Go into fucking super berserker mode for a while at the cost of your HP. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Yeah, let's definitely get up here and retrieve my runes. Oh, man. I cannot fucking exaggerate just how 
relieved I am that that guy went down at the last fucking second. I knew I I, I didn't even th I hadn't even spied his health bar once. I was like, there's no way he's going down, right? Like. Uh, oh, gamer skills to the max. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Who's in here? More flowers. We got some fluffy squirrels in here. Lord Fluffacus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's that way out. The broken wall. What is that? Raise the sword of light to the dark. Oh, so the stone sword can be either the sword of light or the sword of dark, I guess. Let me check out what the sword of like sort of light is like right now. Let me leave a fucking thing here, because I bet you can switch it back and forth at will. Let's go. Flag shirt. No, sword. That makes a lot of sense. Um, let me re-examine the sword of light. Straight sword. Strength, dex, faith. Huh. Um, let me just use it for a second, I guess. Yeah, just your average sword. Oops! No, 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 no. Uh, I didn't mean to use that. Whatever. And I can't use that because I don't have the faith for it. Hold on. Okay, good thing I have this. Okay, the invisibility ended. Oh, that's cool that it just floats up there. Wait, why do I not have the faith for it still? Oh, I only have 13 with that? Son of a bitch. Uh, do I have a faith-producing helmet? Noble's mask or whatever. No, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. All good. Okay, let's see what happens. Sword of Darkness. Faith. Oh, 24. Was it always 24 even on the other one? Or was I thought it was 14. All good. Sword of Darkness pulled from its stone scabbard at an altar. From the quick of the root, wandering coils of darkness coalesce and release their eddies and vortices, giving form to the dark blade. Coalesce and release their... Oh, I thought... The sentence was punctuated incorrectly, but I just was reading it wrong. From the quick of the root, wandering coils of darkness coalesce and release their eddies and vortices, giving form to the dark blade. An eddy is like uh, another name for a vortex. It's like a little whirlpool, typically in like a stream. Raise the sword aloft and cleave surroundings with darkness. Deal holy damage and temporary reduces holy damage negation. Huh. Well, if you say so. Fuck it, I'm going back to the milady. I like this sword. Okay, so... Maybe there is no getting up on top of this place. Maybe it's just... That the chest is up in here. Yeah, I believe the sort of light thing was somewhere up over here. I really should have marked it. Um, yeah, oh well. I'm not going to use it, so it doesn't really matter that much. I could always just look it up. Alright, here we go. 
giant golden arc. Is that an incantation? It's an ash of war. Giant golden arc. Releases a giant golden arc with a swing of the arm. How much faith does that take? Only 34, not too bad. Sorcery of the Inquisitors of the Tower, wielded as an incantation of the spiral. Ah, yes, so I will be seeing this incantation as I fight my way up the tower. A swing of the arm releases a giant golden arc. Charging enhances potency. The arc resembles the barb, a known symbol of the coercive of coercive questioning. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Um, yeah. Coolness. Coolness. Time to get sh moving along. Glad I figured that out. Oh my god, so fucking glad that I got that fucking big mofo down. Oh boy. Do jam. Well, I wonder if I'll be able to continue from here. Or am I stopped at this fucking waterfall? I hope there's a path over there on the left. Cause there sure ain't one on the right. No indeed. Oh, a sight of grace. Yes, there shall be a path. I predicticus. A path ahead. Owing to its predictable nature, having seen the sight of grace. Boom. Recluses River Upstream. Ah, so I'm going down the Recluses River now. A recluse is like a hermit. Someone who hides away. Oh, and it's brighter all of a sudden. Oh, wow. Like a lot brighter. Holy shit. I'll still put this on for help in the shadows. Hello, Gotikus. I name you Gotikus, owing to your goat-like nature. Oh no, Ikus. Well then, how inconvenient. That boss was really fun. Well, that itself wasn't the boss, but the, the boss you fight right in front of that guy, the big dragon skin soldier that you get the frozen lightning spear from. It was fun finding it because you finally see that fucking big guy in the chair that you've been like seeing, you know, on these loading screens forever. And then those dragon skin soldier bosses were cool. Plus he was using the frozen lightning against me. And then also, hey Hazel. And then also I was a faith user and I actually ended up using the frozen lightning spear quite a bit. I thought that was a, quite the cool incantation. Hey Hazel. Want to come on up? I'll even let you come on up and sit on me if you like. You 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 do enjoy sitting upon me. Come on up, my sweet little gray-haired friend. Come on up. Come on up, friend. You sure are fuzzy. Yes, ma'am. Got a big old fuzzy tail, that's for sure. Why, hello there. Little Missy. Oh, it's sad that she's always just paranoid and looking around to see where Buddy is. Because Buddy don't appreciate her presence, unfortunately. Oh, she's so soft and fluffy. And she's very, like, just dainty, too. She's... You know, Buddy the male cat is like tense like a violin string. She's more like 
slender and willowy like uh, the stem of a flower. She's going up into the windowsill. Buddy senses her presence. He will come over. Come here, buddy. Buddy Boo Boo, come here, buddy. No competition for attention. You both get it. I make sure to pet them both at the same time all the time. Love you, friend. Love you, friend. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I love you, friend. Love you very much. Why don't you coexist on the windowsill? Don't bully her out of there. No, don't bully her out of there, man. She's allowed to be there if she wants to be. I know you're not going beside her to have camaraderie with her. I know you're going beside her to be unfriendly, and I don't like that. Now she's getting ready to bolt. She's sticking around. Buddy, just be a friend. Just be a friend. Don't chase her around. Pay attention. Do your own thing. Like, pay attention to your own thing. Don't make interrupting her your interest. Have an interest of your own. Oh, now he's going to sit in his little perch and just make sure that he has an eye on everything and not let anything go that he would not approve of. It's so sad. And then I have to protect her from him so that she still trusts me and likes me and can get affection from me and can eat, quite frankly. But then... It makes me have to be, you know, mean to him. I'm sure he sees it, and then he doesn't like me. It's a fucking brutal situation I'm in here. Uh, it's just fucked. And, like, okay, let me take one ha half of my headphones off now, because he's sitting... He can't see the food in the water right now, but he's sitting close enough that if she starts to eat, he'll be able to hear it, and he'll go fucking running in to fucking stop her from doing it. And then I'll have to fucking stop what I'm doing and go over and fucking stop him from doing that. Because, you know, I'm sure she would find a way to eat when he's sleeping or something. But it's not fair and it's not right. And I want to show her that I will protect her ability to eat. But it is a fucking pain in the ass. Like, it shouldn't be that way. I shouldn't have to fucking get up and do that. It's fucked. Oh, we got these fly guys again. But in case that happens, I mean, I'm 43 minutes into this, so if that starts to happen, I'll just end the episode abruptly and go and uh, go referee the fucking food situation. So in case that happens, thank you for watching episode 90 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Fuck you, dude. You fucking barfing barficus. Okay, he is going in to do that, but she never went for the food, because now she's back over here. They're playing a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie, honestly. Yeah, he is chasing her down. Alright, I'm going to get up and break this shit up. Thanks for watching. See you in episode 91.